as you all know, this government is fond of certain dangerous precedents. And uh, this is another one. You all know that part seven of the Public Health Act, Act 851, deals with the establishment um, and the functions of the Food and Drugs Authority. If you go to section 81 of the same act, Act 851, it also outlines the functions or the duties of the Food and Drugs Authority. And one of the functions of the Food and Drugs Authority is to provide standards for sales of foods, I mean medical equipment and drugs. And some of the activities leading to the performance of these duties or functions includes one, the market surveillance, market surveillance. And two is what they call GMP, the General Manufacturing Processes Inspection. These are very, very key activities that helps the Food and Drugs Authority to perform its functions. Now, it will interest you to know that Food and Drugs Authority has stopped these activities, subjecting everybody in the public to a very high risk. In fact, the market surveillance is what allows the Food and Drugs Authority to authenticate the wholesomeness or otherwise of foods and other products in the system. The market surveillance. And so with the emergence or the outbreak of anthrax, everybody would have expected that the Food and Drugs Authority would have intensified its operations. But unfortunately, they have stopped this market surveillance. The GMP. The GMP inspection also allows the Food and Drugs Authority to also set standards or to inspect standards for processes and manufacturing in the companies, whether or not they are following the right standard, both within the country and outside the country. So medicines or drugs and foods that are, being, that are imported into this country, Food and Drugs Authority sends their personnel outside the country to inspect, to go on inspection, those companies, whether they are doing the right thing. But as I speak to you now, they have stopped these activities. And the only reason they are given is that the Food and Drugs Authority is broke. They have no money. The minister responsible for finance is refusing to release money to the authority. We are all here. We heard and saw what happened in Asenov. Government was able to mobilize money for the continuation and completion of projects in Asenov because of by-elections. And even went ahead to organize money to induce voters. Now, a matter such as this, a matter that borders on public health, we have no money to undertake this. Idea. And it has never happened in the history of Ghana. Don't forget that the Food and Drugs Authority is a very, very important institution. You and I, our grandfathers, our parents, they walk into any shop and buy anything at all and they consume. We are all relying on the Food and Drugs Authority for the safety, that they are doing the right thing and that any uh, product in the shops are safe for consumption. For consumption. And so we are calling on the government, the minister responsible for finance to be specific, that as a matter of agency, they should release money to the Food and Drugs Authority to continue to perform their mandate as expected. This is very sensitive, very, very sensitive. Because we have antrust at hand. And some of these things can be best, this surveillance can be best done by the Food and Drugs Authority. <music>